Hey everyone, Tech Dad here, and today we are covering some of the more advanced features that are available on PowerPoint for the iPad Pro. PowerPoint on the iPad has a whole host of great features that give your presentations a professional grade quality that is just as good as a Mac or PC. In fact, there are some features that are available on the iPad Pro specifically that you won't find on a Mac or a PC. Now, of course, you got all the basics. Obviously, there are a whole host of great slide templates. You can add notes, there's presenter view, you can obviously add shapes, graphs, tables, but in this video I want to get into some more advanced techniques. Like how about dropping in a Cameo camera feed to go along with your presentation while you're screen recording? Or what if you use SmartArt to show a project management process flow? Or maybe you've never tried add-ins, like using a feature to create a QR code so that you can have your audience quickly pull up a document that you're referencing or a website. Have you ever tried rehearsing with Presenter Coach? It will give you a full breakdown of how you did with your presentation and give you some great pointers. And of course, a unique feature to the iPad Pro is the ability to use the Apple Pencil. And so we're going to talk about all those things in this video. We'll go in depth on how to do each one so that you can start to give your PowerPoint presentations that professional grade quality. People won't even believe that you made it on an iPad. Now, if you're new to my channel, I want to let you know that I actually have two jobs. I am a project manager and I use PowerPoint all the time in this position to teach and train folks that are on my various teams. And so PowerPoint plays a really big role in my project management position. At nighttime, I am an adult education teacher and so I teach math and language arts science and social studies and obviously PowerPoint is wonderful to have for that job so in this video I'm going to give you lots of demonstrations from teaching methods and training methods that I've developed myself in my two jobs all right let's get into it okay so the first thing I want to demonstrate is how to insert a cameo into your presentation and this is actually really useful when you are not in front of an audience but rather you're doing a screen recording like I am so in today's modern world a lot of times it's great to record a presentation presentation. A cameo is great when they're watching the presentation just so they can see me. It gives a little extra flair. By the way, if you want to know how to record your presentation, you can always pull down from the top right corner of the iPad and there's a record screen button. That's what I use to record my screen. If you don't see this button right here, there is a plus button where you can add that feature. Cameo, we're just going to go to insert and cameo is right here. And you'll see it appear there. And the designer will come up for you and it can kind of help guide you on where you want to put your cameo. Um, I'm going to select this one actually. So it just plops it in the bottom left corner there. Now I don't like the circle, so I want to change that. And so when I go back to insert or I select the cameo itself, I can go to styles and I'm just going to pick the rectangle. There we go. And I'll use my finger to move it around, position it where I want it. Okay, that looks good. So this is the advantage. Like what you're seeing right now is you can just put that cameo there and now your audience can see you as you present. And it's just a nice advanced feature that just gives your presentation a little more class. Now you'll notice it does not appear in the next slide. So to get it there, I always just like to select it, hit Command C on my keyboard to copy it. And when I go to the next slide and I hit Command V, it will paste in the exact same position. So that's it, that's a great way to just enhance your presentations to allow your audience to see you. Okay, so the next thing I wanna show you are add-ins, and these are really cool for adding various things like QR codes and polls and many other features that you can throw into your presentation. And so to do this, you're gonna to go to the Insert tab here, and you're gonna to scroll to the right on these tools, and at the far right, there are add-ins. And you can see some recommended, or you can see all. I'm just gonna to go to See All. And here's one where you have a QR code for Office, and you can just click Add and continue for the privacy policy. And now I've got a spot where I can add a URL so that I can give a resource to my students. And so here in Safari, I have a worksheet uh, for World War I, and so I'm just gonna copy the link to this worksheet and then go back to PowerPoint and insert that link here. And there's my QR code. And so now I can just click Insert, and we can resize this guy and move it around. So in today's world, QR codes are extremely powerful, and if your students or if the folks in the audience have an iPad themselves, this is a great way to pull up a resource quickly on their device. Or if it's a form or a poll that you want your audience to pull up, this is great for their phones as well. So I use this feature in both project management and in teaching. Okay, so the next really big feature has to do with using the Apple Pencil. And the first thing I wanna demonstrate is actually in Presenter View. So the Apple Pencil is pretty handy for marking up your slides while you're 
you're presenting. So you can pull up presenter view and then you can select the pen tool to make markups or you can select the button next to the pen tool with the little gear and you can select different colors for your pens or you can select the highlighter tool as well as the eraser tool. These are great for just drawing attention or calling out certain things about your slides and then you can click the button to erase all your markings which cleans your slide up quickly. This is great for calling attention to detail but it's really powerful when you're teaching math. So when I'm teaching math I like to make a little area on the slide where I can work out the problem and demonstrate to the students and often I will hand out a slideshow and let the students have that space as well so they can work out the problem in their own space. So this is really powerful when you use PowerPoint's ability to add in text and shapes and then combine that with handwriting because there's no better way to do math than by hand a lot of times and the iPad is a great tool for that. Okay so the next advanced feature I want to go over is smart art and you might have played around with this but it is so handy to use and it gives you a graphic design edge when you really don't have a lot of graphic design skill and so if I want to insert some smart art I go to insert and over here is smart art and they have all kinds of graphics that you can use to show the concept that you want. I want to use process because I'm in project management and here's a good waterfall flow step-by-step -step process. And so now it inserts it and I can just shrink it down to the size I want, move it around, and over here I can fill in the text. And so let's say the first step I want is for a finance specialist review. And then next is usually the director and finally a chief officer. So this is a great way to outline a process or any kind of visual graphic that you want to create. Smart Art can do it for you. You can add more shapes if you select one and you want to add another shape. There's a button here to do that and so you can select to add it before or after. There are also lots of color palettes that you can choose from if you don't like what comes with the slide automatically. I'm going to select this one that's blue here. So yeah, Smart Art is such a great way to just show a concept quickly and it's clean and easy to use. Okay, so the last feature I want to go over is called the Presenter Coach. And so PowerPoint on the iPad has a built-in coach that will Will help you rehearse your presentation before you actually have to do it. So you can select this under slideshow and just hit play and start going. You literally just talk and present as if you were in front of your audience. It will measure what you're doing. If you're talking too fast, it will actually throw up a cue to say, hey, you're going a little bit too fast, slow down. It's really neat. And when you're all done, it's going to give you a little breakdown of how you did. And so it covers things like fillers. It lets you know if you put in too many filler words like, uh, or um. It also gives you a breakdown of your pace and so with this one I was 143 words a minute which is a little fast but overall just fine. Somehow it even measures pronunciation and pitch which I think is pretty cool. It also notes that I avoided just reading the text out loud which is just awful when people do that and they present in that way. Don't ever just read your slides. It's terrible. So you've got to try out this coaching experience. It's really cool. It will grade you on how well you present and help you make some changes and break some bad habits. Okay, so that's my breakdown of some advanced features that you're going to find in PowerPoint these days. There are some really cool things you can do that lots of folks just don't know about. And you can do this all on the iPad. You don't need a computer to make really good professional grade presentations. I hope you like these features. Put a comment below and let me know if there's something I missed or something you'd really like to see. I love reading through comments like that. That's all I got for you. If you like this sort of content, please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.